Good evening, Stockard Core Content Leaders. A lot of people have been asking, how can we put our power DOLs into Performance Matters? I am attaching a step-by-step -step guide to this email that'll be very helpful, but I know some people just like to see actually how to create it. Um, and since all of our students are gonna be taking their common assessments and ACPs online this year, it is imperative that they're taking their power DOLs in the same manner. So this video is just gonna quickly show you how to make sure um, you can upload your power DOLs to Performance Matters, and any additional qu questions that you have should be answered in the quick guide, but don't hesitate to reach out if you need any help. So we're gonna access Performance Matters the same way as we did last year. Going to our Clever portal, clicking Performance Matters, it's gonna take us to this PowerSchool screen. We're gonna select the Applications arrow and click DISD Performance Matters. From here, it's going to be similar to last year, how we made our other assessments. You're gonna to go to test, new tests, and we're gonna use a very specific naming convention for Power DOLs because all of our tests are in one place for the entire district. So we are going to start with Stockard. You are then going to put the grade level, just the uh, number, the subject, PDOL for Power DOL, and then the date, 9419. This is gonna make it so that way all of them have the very similar naming convention. It's going to be very easier for us to find all of our assessments, not just teachers, but admin and your ILTs as well. So everyone is able to receive appropriate support. Your assessment description can be however you want it to be. Power DOL for 9419 for eighth grade math. As an example, you want to select the assessment category. Ours is going to be campus formative because it's a weekly formative assessment. We are then going to choose the appropriate course type, the grade level, and most importantly, the performance bands. As of right now, the district has not updated the performance bands from last year, so we are going to use the stalker specific ones that were created, and I will make sure that they are updated by Wednesday morning with the appropriate performance bands so that our students' data accurately reflects uh, Texas assessment standards. So I'm gonna click eighth grade math for right now, and then I'm going to go to administration. This is really important because this is how we make sure that our assessment is happening online. So I know if I want all my kids to be taking it on September 4th, I might have a couple kids who are absent. I'm gonna give them a window, my bad, from September 4th to September 6th. And then I, that's their online window to create or complete the assessment. I am then going to make sure that OLA is checked because that is online assessment. For right now, we can also keep scan sheets just for our students who maybe do not have online access yet. But then we are going to extend this because this allows us to personalize our assessment. For example, if you wanna randomize the questions so that they're not all in the same order, I would do that if you wanna allow pause. Most importantly, the enable secure test lockout. This creates a lockdown browser when they're taking the test so they cannot open Google or do anything else. Then if you want students to see their scores after submission, you can click this as well. You can add items from the bank or you can actually upload your own test. In order to upload your own test, you have to make sure to press save. Um, you always wanna press save either way. But if you go here, you can actually upload a PDF and that'll allow you to upload a Power DOL and PDF form. Um, or you can go to add items and select items from the bank. There's actually a lot aligned to the standards that you guys have for Power DOLs. Um, but just some, a couple different options of play around with this. But if you wanna make sure to have everything you need for the online assessment, pressing test format. Only online can you add sections. For example, if I just have a couple questions, I could just make it say Power DOL 49419. Section instructions, complete all questions thoroughly. And then at the end, don't forget to press submit. You even have an option to upload the reference sheet. I would totally upload the reference sheet, especially for our star tested subject area. And then you can add any of these particular settings. If you were in math or science, I would not add the graphing calculator because they're gonna be able to use the one that they're using in class. So I would not select that option, but you can select highlighter also, make sure not to focus on text-to-speech, 
because that would be an accommodation that you could add for students with 504s or APs to receive that specific modification, but you don't want every student to have that. But it could be a great tool for ELL students who, um, or IEP 504 students who are gonna be receiving that accommodation. So then when you are done uploading everything that you need, make sure to press save and you can preview your tests. And then also make sure to write down this test number because when you wanna search your test later, it is going to be a lot harder if you don't have that number. Another thing to remember if you haven't done this before, make sure that all of your permissions are chosen. Um, otherwise, people in your group might not be able to see it. The easiest thing is to make sure that you just choose Stockard Middle School and then make sure that they have all the permissions because if somebody doesn't have the permissions when you put it in, they're not going to be able to see any of the results. And always, always, always press save. If you have any other questions, please let me know and please refer to the quick reference guide for any detailed questions and anything else you need. We're happy to help you. Have a great day.